Welcome to our channel. Take a journey through time as you unravel the mysteries, emotions, and memories captured in each frame. Before Pamela Anderson became famous, she was the 22-year-old known as the Blue Zone Girl for Labatt's Beer in 1989. Cameron Diaz cheerleading in high school, 1988. Heather Locklear in 1983. Jamie Lee Curtis in the movie Perfect 1985. Carrie Fisher at the beach in a very iconic bikini, 1983. That's incredible hostess Kathy Lee Crosby in 1980s aerobic wear, including leg warmers. Tanya Roberts in the movie The Beastmaster. Christy Brinkley modeling a swimsuit in the 1980s. Dolly Parton rocking the red carpet. Linda Carter during the aerobic craze in the 1980s. Sean Connery and Kim Basinger in the 1983. Spy movie Never Say Never Again. Model actress Kelly Lebrock. Jamie Lee Curtis. A young Christy Brinkley during the 80s. Actress Jane Leaves, Daphne on Frasier, was a A. Hills Angels on The Benny Hill Show in 1985. Heather Locklear and drummer from Motley Crue, Tommy Lee, 1980s. Model actress Sofia Vergara, 1989. Cindy Lauper on stage, 1984. Phoebe Cates posing for a swimsuit photo shoot on the beach in 1983. Christina Applegate played Kelly Bundy during her time on the television series Married with Children. Catherine Bach and Larry Wilcox on The Love Boat. Rebecca De Mornay as Enlana in Risky Business. Jamie Lee Curtis from the drama romance movie Perfect 1985. Fall Guy Beauty Heather Thomas in the 1980s. Cheryl Teagues in yellow for the 1983 Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Sarah Jessica Parker during the 80s. Kelly Lebrock with typical 80s hair in Weird Science, 1985. Pretty photo of the lovely Dolly Parton, 1980s. Bette Midler and her backup singers, The Harlots, in the early 1980s. Model singer, actress Apollonia Cotero, 1985. Actress Daryl Hannah in the 1980s. Deborah Winger and an officer and a gentleman.
Elizabeth Shue as Ali Mills in the flick The Karate, 1984. Elvira and Cheech Marin getting cozy, 1980s. Farrah Fawcett looking great out and about back in 1982. A groovy biker photo was taken in New Jersey by Pulsating Paula in the 1980s. Italian actress Ornella Muti. Leah Thompson as Illorraine Baines McFly in Back to the Future. Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio as Al Pacino's character's sister, Gina Montana's in the film Scarface. Meryl Streep in Sophie's Choice. Heather Locklear smiling for the camera in the 1980s. model singer, actress Apollonia Cotero in the 1980s. Real life Rapunzel Crystal Gale in 1982. Mark Rock Vixen Bobby Brown in a perfume and from the late 1980s. Sigourney Weaver looking groovy in the 1980s. Supermodel Brooke Shields even had a doll that had her famous Calvin Klein's on. Kelly McGillis in Top Gun. Movie band in the 1980s, The Bangles. Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future. The pretty Heather Locklear in the 80s. Dolly Parton glamour photo from the 1980s. Young Suzanne Somers looking 70s cool. Young Madonna had all the goods back before she was famous back in 1974. Almost 1.5 million balloons were released simultaneously at the Cleveland Balloon Fest in 1986. Air-conditioned lawn mower from the 1950s. Barbara Roofs was one of the sexy women of drag racing in the 1970s. Linda Carter was always the daredevil in the 1970s. Robin Williams with his first wife, Valerie Velarde, on their wedding day, 1978. Mark Twain, 1904, had three dogs which he named, I know, you know and don't know. A German soldier helping a young boy cross the newly formed Berlin Wall, 1961. A party pooper picketing spring break at Daytona Beach in the 1980s. Linda Carter looking ready to do some battle with network stars. Beautiful photo taken of the Twin Towers during construction in the 1970s. Cindy Morgan looking hot on the set of Caddyshack. Heather Thomas is the fall guy on Battle of the Network Stars in 1983.
Pam Greer looking all foxy brown like back in the 70s. Ben Bowden shows off his prototype bicycle called the Abodent Spacelanders in 1946. From Buffalo Bill looking stylish back in 1909. Linda Carter attending the Emmy Awards in 1977. Dalali Lama as a toddler age two or three. Dorothy Mays was a Playboy playmate in July 1979. Brigitte Bardot shows her iconic style at the 1953 Cannes Film Festival. Instructions on how to kiss a girl from 1911. John Candy, 18 years old, at Niagara Falls. Young Jamie Lee Curtis gives a scream queen look. John Cleese playing on the set of Monty Python and the Holy Grail film, 1975. John F. Kennedy playing peekaboo with his baby Caroline, 1957. Bridge, which connects Michigan's Upper and Lower Peninsula under construction in 1957. Mew from the Titanic, 1912. 1930s weight gain, Ad recommends beer. British actress Fiona Lewis gives her best Bond look. Need to concentrate. Don't worry, here's the solution. Passing through a giant sequoia tree at Yosemite Park, 1879. Jungle Pam Hardy was a familiar fixture on the 70s drag racing scene. Popular Atari games from the 1980s. Queen Elizabeth served in the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service during World War II. Not Stewart in his 1970s kitchen. students taking part in a nuclear attack drill in the 1950s. Teens talking on the corner in New York City, 1948. The enchanting doorway at Stedwards Parish Church in the Cotswold, flanked by yew trees. William Harley and Arthur Davidson on their bikes, 1914. Linda Carter on Battle of the Network Stars in 1978. Barbara Roofs looking like a sexy hood ornament. Betty Brosmer was the highest paid model in the mid-1950s. She was on over 200 magazine covers. Daughter Holly joined her famous dad, Jack Palance, as co-hosts of Ripley's Believe It or Not. Bob Dylan on his triumph in Woodstock, 1969. Keith Richards, Mick Jagger and Bob Dylan, letting the spirits flow in 1960s. Bo Diddley and the Clash on a tour bus during the Clash's 1979 US tour, Diddley was the opening act for them. Anne Margaret, 
the original redhead bombshell, wearing the green for St. Patrick's Day, 1960s. Robert Redford and Paul Newman in the movie The Sting. It won the Best Picture Oscar in 1973. It's a drink, cigar, and no shoes. This lady was a rebel back in the 1950s. Edward Kennedy and his wife march in Holyoke St. Patrick's Day Parade in 1960s. Cowgirl Rackle Welch trying to hitch a ride 1969. The Price is Right host Bob Barker with Janice Pennington and Anna Truff Ford, 1972. Elvira Cassandra Peterson and her 1958 T-Bird customized by George Barris into the Macabre Mobile. Al Pacino's Mugshot, 1961. Tom Laughlin and his wife, Dolores Taylor in a scene from the 1971 movie Billy Jack. Sailor Beware was a 1952 comedy film starring Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. A 15-year-old Matt Dillon makes his film debut in Over the Edge 1979. Actress Barbara Boucher, 1975. Actress Lee Merriweather in her Catwoman costume, 1966. Audrey Hepburn, 1954. On Belushi and National Lampoon's Animal House, the 1978 American comedy film directed by John Landis. Two of the three Charlie's Angels, Jacqueline Smith and Cheryl Ladd and their pom-poms 1970s. Diana Rigg plays the Queen of Sin, Emma Peel in the most watched episode of The Avengers. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Marilyn Monroe photographed by Barron, 1954. Jimi Hendrix and Mick Jagger talking things over, 1960s. Folk singer Joan Baez on the beach near her home in Carmel, California in 1962. Sammy Davis, Jr. tearing it up on the drums on The Ed Sullivan Show, 1963. Patty Duke, a legendary actress and Oscar winner, 1960s. Elvis Presley cutting Johnny Cash's hair. Take another look. Gregory Peck with his 1962 Oscar for Best Actor for his role as Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird. Peter Falk as Lieutenant Columbo. Did you know Bob Marley, the world-renowned musician, also loved to play soccer 1970s? James Dean at a diner, Always that serious, determined, sexy look, 1950s. Chero Lad in Charlie's Angels, 1976. Gene Hackman as Jimmy Poppy Doyle in The French Connection, 1971. Side Caris between scenes in the film Meet Me in Las Vegas, 1956. California surfers on their groovy car in the 1960s. Mitzi Gaynor in a publicity photo for George Cukor's Last Girls, 1957. Backstage at the Assyrius Moonlights Tour. David Bowie with Bette Midler on his lap, Michael Jackson, Jorgan Lapierre in Los Angeles, 
1983, cute photo of Mark Hamill with his wife Marilo and son Nathan during the filming of Return of the Jedi 1983. Two classics, Marilyn Monroe posing by a Pontiac chieftain 1951. Paul Newman and Lee Marvin in a publicity still for the 1972 comedy Western Pocket Money. In 1964, Elvis deeded over President Franklin Roosevelt's former yacht to Danny Thomas and St. Jude Children's Hospital. Meatloaf and Debbie Harry sharing a taxi in 1980. Cousin Eddie, Randy Quaid from the National Lampoon's Vacation, 1983. Walter Matthau and Tatum O'Neill in The Bad News Bears, 1976. A 19-year-old Princess Diana looking like she would like to be elsewhere in 1980. Musician, singer, songwriter and actress Sheryl Crow in 1982. Sophia Loren with her mother and youngest sister's striking poses in 1957. Ernst Hill as the lead character in the Spaghetti Western film. My Name is Nobody, 1973. Anthony Edwards, Sean Penn and Eric Stoltz in Fast Times at Ridgemont High, 1982. Robert Plant, 1968. A 19-year-old Muhammad Ali training underwater, although he didn't know how to swim, 1961. Martin Short, Andrea Martin, and John Candy performing at the Diamond in Toronto, 1985. Singer and actress Michelle Phillips in the 1970s. Lakers legends Elgin Baylor, Wilt Chamberlain, and Jerry West in 1971. Model and actress Phoebe Cates in the early 1980s. Sybil Shepherd, 1970s. Beautiful actress Olivia Hussey, 1974. Bruce Lee as Cato in the, the Green Hornet. Triple Coolness, Carol Shelby and Steve McQueen standing by a new Cobra in 1963. The Price is Right host Bob Barker with Janice Pennington and Anitra Ford, 1972. Betty Brosmer was the highest paid model in the mid-1950s. She was on over 200 magazine covers. Daughter Holly joined her famous dad, Jack Palance, as co-hosts of Ripley's Believe It or Not. No. Al Pacino's mugshot. 1961. Tom Laughlin and his wife, Delore Art, in a scene from the 1971 movie Billy Jack. O Diddley and the Clash on a tour bus during the Clash's 1979 U.S. tour, Diddley was the opening act for them. On Sailor Beware was a 1952 comedy film starring Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. A 15-year-old Matt Dillon makes his film debut in Over the Edge 1979. It's a drink, cigar, and no shoes. This lady was a rebel back in the 1950s. Actress Barbara Boucher, 1975. Actress Lee Merriweather in her Catwoman costume, 1966. 
Audrey Hepburn, 1954. Bob Dylan on his triumph in Woodstock, 1969. On Belushi in National Lampoon's Animal House, the 1978 American comedy film directed by John Landis. On Margaret, the original redhead bombshell, wearing the green for St. Patrick's Day, 1960s. Two of the three Charlie's Angels, Jacqueline Smith and Cheryl Ladd, and their pom-poms, 1970s. Edward Kennedy and his wife March in Holyoke St. Patrick's Day Parade in 1960s. Diana Rigg plays the Queen of Sin, Emma Peel in the most watched episode of The Avengers. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Marilyn Monroe photographed by Barron, 1954. Jimi Hendrix and Mick Jagger talking things over, 1960s. Folk singer Joan Baez on the beach near her home in Carmel, California in 1962. Sammy Davis, Jr. tearing it up on the drums on the E.D. Sullivan Show, 1963. Patty Duke, a legendary actress and Oscar winner, 1960s. Elvis Presley cutting Johnny Cash's hair. Take another look. Gregory Peck with his 1962 Oscar for Best Actor for his role as Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird. Peter Falk as Lieutenant Columbo. Did you know Bob Marley, the world-renowned musician, also loved to play soccer 1970s? Keith Richards, Mick Jagger and Bob Dylan, Letting the Spirits Flow 1960s. Robert Redford and Paul Newman in the movie The Sting. It won the Best Picture Oscar in 1973. Cowgirl Raquel Welch trying to hitch a ride, 1969. James Dean at a diner. Always that serious, determined, sexy look, 1950s. Elvira Cassandra Peterson and her 1958 T-Bird, customized by George Barris into the Macabre Mobile. Cheryl Ladd and Charlie's Angels, 1976. Gene Hackman as Jimmy Popeye Doyle in The French Connection, 1971. I'd caress between scenes in the film. Meet Me in Las Vegas, 1956. California surfers on their groovy car in the 1960s. Mitzi Gaynor in a publicity photo for George Cukor's Las Girls, 1957. Backstage stage at the Sirius Moonlights tour. Cute photo of Mark Hamill with his wife Marilo and son Nathan during the filming of Return of the Jedi, 1983. Two classics, Marilyn Monroe posing by a Pontiac chieftain, 1951. Paul Newman and Lee Marvin in a publicity still for the 1972 comedy western Pocket Money. In 1964, Elvis deeded over President Franklin Roosevelt's former yacht to Danny Thomas and St. Jude Children's Hospital. Meatloaf and Debbie Harry sharing a taxi in 1980. Cousin Eddie O'Rondi, Quaid from the National Lampoon's Vacation, 1983. 
Walter Matthau, and Tatum O'Neill in The Bad News Bears, 1976. A 19-year-old Princess Diana looking like she would like to be elsewhere in 1980. Musician, singer, songwriter, and actress Sheryl Crow in 1982. Sophia Loren with her mother and youngest sister striking poses in 1957. Burns Hill as the lead character in the Spaghetti Western film. My Name is Nobody, 1973. Anthony Edwards, Sean Penn and Eric Stoltz in Fast Times at Ridgemont High, 1982. Robert Plant, 1968. a 19-year-old Muhammad Ali training underwater, although he didn't know how to swim, 1961. Martin Short, Andrea Martin, and John Candy performing at the Diamond in Toronto, 1985. Singer and actress Michelle Phillips in the 1970s. So Lakers legends Elgin Baylor, Wilt Chamberlain, and Jerry West in 1971. Model and actress Phoebe Cates in the early 1980s. Cybill Shepherd, 1970s. Beautiful actress Olivia Hussey, 1974. Bruce Lee as Cato in the, the Green Hornet. San Francisco's Cliff House was once the pinnacle of high society. Gorgeous Janie Kennedy was the Renaissance woman of the 1970s, 1980s. Marilyn Monroe, an angel face with a wild side. Jungle Pam Hardy didn't know much about racing at first, but she knew how to turn heads. East German soldier helps a little boy sneak across the Berlin Wall, 1961. A soldier comes home from war, 1940s. Don't expect to see Dolly Parton's husband at one of her shows. He prefers to stay home. Princess Diana in Bermuda in 1997. British actress Elizabeth Hurley during her punk rock stage. As a teen, Madonna broke the rules and flash the boys. Winter wear, Manuela Barrio Monero left, and Emanuela Begeli Holiday in the Italian ski resort of Cortina d'Ampezzo. Stanley Kubrick, you Miriam Carlin on the set of A Clockwork Orange, 1971. Sexy Jane Mansfield was too hot to handle. James Cann on the set of Godfather during a break. American troops overseas got an eye full when sexy Joey Heatherton took the stage. There's no stopping Tina Turner and her fantastic and well-insured legs. Marilyn Munster, Pat Priest. Oh, my nose, how Maureen McCormick's oral accident led to the Brady Bunch broken nose episode. Life magazine photographer Ralph Crane snapped this pic of a cozy couple on the beach. 
like mother, like son, a young Elvis Presley with his mother, Gladys. Not a scene from a horror movie, but just as creepy. Teenaged Ivanka Trump, future model, businesswoman, entrepreneur, political advisor, wife, and mother. Mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation was still in its infancy when it was used to save a fallen utility worker. Diana was the people's princess and the queen of people's hearts. This pix was taken just moments before convicted politian Bud Dwyer's A disfiguring childhood accident led Cassandra Peterson to become Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Queen of the Jungle, Er, the racetrack Jungle Pam Hardy still wows fans today. Jamie Lee Curtis with her famous mom, Janet Leigh, a legend of Hollywood's golden era and half of Hollywood's favorite power couple. Perky Barber Roofs was as hot as the hot rods on the racetrack. Phoebe Cates in the cast of Private School made your high school days seem boring. For Linda Carter, there was life after Wonder Woman, but it took a while. Sexy and tough, Pam Grier made a name for herself in 1970s black exploitation films. Pretty in Pink, Chris Noah went from pinup model to the voice of Vietnam. A girl licks ice cream and plays with the tip of the gun's bayonet to try and elicit a reaction from a royal guard in Sweden in 1970. Claudia Lanier was the inspiration for the Rolling Stones song Brown Sugar and David Bowie's Lady Grinning Soul. A Scandinavian stewardess examines a new uniform proposal for Scandinavian Airlines in 1958. Strangely enough, it wasn't approved. Steamy Sophia Loren set her temptress trait aside for the 1977 film, A Special Day. Emily Banks was Yeoman Tonya Barrows on Star Trek in 1966. catalog models in the 1970s showing off the latest trends. The sexy Sophia Loren in the 50s. Elvira, mistress of the dark, learned that it can be difficult to work with animals. Barbara Ruffs had all the qualifications for being a trophy girl, and none of them had to do with racing. Naturally, athletic, Linda Carter was a competitive swimmer in high school. Princess Diana's bodyguard, Trevor Reese Jones, was the only survivor of the car accident that claimed her life. Mick Jagger swaps his tight jeans for a frock and heavy makeup in a photograph taken with ex-wife Jerry Hall, 1996. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Remember, your feedback and suggestions are always valuable to us.